Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today is going our fifth B lecture. Uh, in our previous lecture, fifth lecture, we discussed about uh, some graph operations, unary graph operation and binary graph operation. And in the previous lecture, we discussed their definition, their degree behavior, and find some topological indices. So we continue and uh, we discuss some further. Uh, we discuss some further graph operation and try to investigate their topological indices. So uh, the, there is only one content for the graph operations and their topological indices. So our first uh, graph operation is a binary operation Cartesian product. Let's try, uh, understand the definition of a Cartesian product of two graphs. Uh, the Cartesian product of graph G1 and G2 is denoted as G1 box G2. The vertex, uh, uh, the vertex set of this graph, the vertex set of uh, Cartesian product of graph is the vertex set obtained by vertex set of G1 cross vertex set of G2. Or in other words, we can say that the vertices in uh, Cartesian product are looks like ordered pair, where the first component belongs to the first graph and the second component belongs to the second graph. So the vertices in Cartesian products are like uh, ordered pair, and two vertices in Cartesian product are connected or addition. I mean, u1 and u2 is a vertex, and there is another vertex v1 and v2. So these two vertices are adjacent or I mean have an edge if the first component is same of course the first component same in G1 and the other component the second component U1 V2 is an edge in G2. So this is the first condition that the first component must be same and the second component ha have an edge or adjacent in the second graph. So if this first condition holds then there is an edge between these two vertices in Cartesian product. There is an other condition, I uh, condition that the first component making an edge or have uh, are, or are adjacent in G1, U1, V1 are adjacent in G1, and the second component are same. So if the second condition, if the uh, first condition uh, did not uh, satisfy, then we go to the second condition. If the second condition satisfy, then there is an edge, be uh, an edge between these two uh, two vertices. So there are two types of vertices in Cartesian product. Again, uh, remember there are two types of vertices, uh, sorry, two types of edges in Cartesian product. This is important when we talk about the topological indices defined on the edge set. So there are two types, one here and two here. So this is the definition of Cartesian product. In next slide, we try to explain this with an example. Please remember uh, both the condition so uh, we want to uh, take the Cartesian product of P4, P3. As we said that in Cartesian product, the uh, vertices, the vertex set looks like G1 cross vertex set of G2, or you, or the vertices are in ordered pair. And we have two conditions. First condition is that. Uh, if the first component are same you can see that in this uh, in these two words the first component and same and the second components have an edge in G2 so this is our now you can say G2 this is our G1 so uh, these uh, are these two words are satisfying condition one so there is an edge between this vertex and this vertex now move to the second one above you can see the first component are same here again the first component are same if i use some better notation like these two vertices or these two vertices are same and u1 and u2 have an edge in g2 so there is an edge similarly these are equivalent there is an edge so this is again an edge. So similarly, if we move in, uh, similarly, if we check, these are edges satisfying first condition. These are uh, edges due to the first condition that the first component is same and the second component uh, are adjacent. And if we uh, talk about these two vertices, 
you can see that the first component v1 and v2 have an edge in g1 so v1 and v2 you can see that have an edge in uh, g1 and the second component is equal so there will be an edge continuing in this way there is will be an edge you can see here the first component may uh, are adjacent in g1 and the second component are equal so continuing in this way you can obtain the cartesian product of p3 cross p4 this is p3 cross p4 so this is the cartesian product and if we move to the next slide so this uh, is the final form when we take the cartesian product of a graph uh, p3 cross p4 so next we move to some properties in cartesian product the order is vertex set of g1 order of uh, the graph g multiply order of the graph h and the edge size is the and the size uh, is the cartesian product is uh, obtained by this formula this is the for size and this is the above one is the for the order of the graph g but the third property which we will discuss in detail because uh, this is uh, property is used in uh, finding or investigating the topological indices degree based topological indices so let's move what is the degree of a vertex in cartesian product so we have a vertex a b in cartesian product the degree is the degree of g the degree of a in vertex in graph g plus degree of b in graph h so you have to consider that or uh, take the degree of uh, this in uh, original graph g and this in the original graph h and the sum up the both the degrees and you will get the degrees of a b in cartesian product of g and h and this uh, formula or you can say this uh, uh, property is directly obtained from the from the definition of the cartesian product so if i go back to the previous slide and try to explain the degree uh, phenomena like this is p3 this is p and we want to investigate the degree of this vertex so the according to formula the, the degree of the degree of v2 and u3 u3 is of course this is in uh, cartesian product degree of v2 in g plus degree of u3 in v if we go to the graph g this is our first component here you can see that degree of v if i say this is uh, this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and this is our u3 you can see that degree of v2 in g is 2 plus degree of u3 in h is again 2 so the degree will be 4 here you, we check it from uh, via example now we try to explain or try to understand how uh, we generalize this formula so according to definition you can observe that a vertex u uh, a vertex according to, we, according to definition we can observe that a vertex v2 u3 will be connected to those vertices where u3 is connected where u3 is connected in uh, g1 i mean we can say that if g, u3 is connected with two vertices uh, in g in h then it will connect So uh, this is uh, we check by uh, example and these formulas are directly obtained from the uh, definition of the uh, Cartesian product. Now try to investigate some topological indices based on by using this property. 
so this is our first question uh, the first reformulated zagreb index of the cartesian product of graph uh, the, there will be a careful computation but uh, uh, the phenomena is not very difficult so let's move to the first definition em1 is the um, notation of the first reformulated zagreb index g cartesian product with h this is just the definition we know that the definition degree of u plus degree of v minus 2 raised to power uh, 2 so this is the definition next what we did that we apply the definition as uh, in the definition of the cartesian product i said there are two types of uh, edges one type when the first component is same you can see we divide our we divide uh, the summation in two uh, summations or in two components when the first component is same and the second component having an edge plus when the first component having an edge and the second component is same so there are two types of edges so we divide the summation and rest of the thing is same you can uh, you can see this is as it is in this step we in this step we just break the summation so next move to the next step what is the next step uh, we just uh, uh, consider and uh, we just open i mean uh, oh let me check what we did in our, our next step yes oh, okay next we apply the the, the uh, formula of the degree the formula of the degree is degree of as we discuss a plus degree of uh, b similarly for this degree of g in a you can see i use a here twice because a is equal c so we replace here c by a plus degree of h in d so we just apply the formula of the degree and then we just sum here two times of a plus degree of b in h plus degree of d in h minus two similarly for the next next step we have ac and uh, just we two times of b uh, we apply the same degree formula here and we have this uh, term so next we move what we did see we just open uh, the uh, formula of a square root i think this is our a this is our b and what we applied here you can see a square here b square here 2ab and similarly here a square b square 2ab so this is our uh, next step now we uh, what we will do we will apply the summation inside the bracket so this is our bracket here so what we need to do we will apply this summation this summation into the bracket so let's see what happens when we apply you can see that when we apply this definition to this term you can see this is clearly the first zagreb index and similarly when we apply this um, summation in uh, into the uh, on uh, other terms we will get similar kind of notation so let's move to the next slide here you can see this is our uh, first term and uh, this is our first term second term and here next term and we didn't consider the second part because the second part is uh, will be on the similar line so you can do it easily so consider this when we apply the summation here this is e m1 of h h and this summation is as it is okay next move to the four uh, just i move the extra line so we can better understand here uh, here you can see here we involve a so we use this summation on this we will get the first zagreb index four times of first zagreb index because four is constant so it will go outside of the summation and this will remain as it is because there is no term of uh, from the uh, graph h and then the third term i think we didn't uh, yes we uh, expand it apply this summation to this first term and this second term so just uh, just open and apply this these summations so remember this what is this uh, summation a belong to vertex set of g e1 uh, e m1 h plus four times summation bd belong to uh, a set of h m1 of g plus summation uh, uh, you can see a belong to vertex set of h and 
BD edge in the graph edge and similar we have a, another term here so now we uh, further uh, simplify this mission so after further simplifying we see that we obtain vertex set of uh, the order of the graph uh, G um, times order of, of, of times first reformulated is agree uh, index of G1 uh, so how we obtain this please go back we go back to the previous slide and here you see that there is no term belong to uh, the graph G so EM1 H is EM1 H is constant so here we obtain the order of the graph G similarly we apply summations and we got the this step here you can see we have dotted lines because we have a second uh, type of edges here you can you will solve it yourself and finally we will get these this will uh, these terms will be from uh, the edge type of one and the second will be two so this will be the final formula for of the Cartesian product of two graphs of uh, if you notice that you uh, see that uh, you can see that there is only changing of the graph here V replaced by H, H replaced by G, G replaced by A, H, G replaced by G. You can see here. Because there are two types and they are synchronized. So this is the our first result. Uh, uh, this is first reformulated Zagreb index uh, of the Cartesian product. If you learn uh, this uh, Cartesian product, the, you can apply this method to any edge-based, degree-based topological indices because in the other topological indices, you can see there will be a multiply, there will be uh, addition of addition with square or they will maybe in the denominator. But the main phenomena is that which I discussed that just you have to, uh, you just have to uh, divide the summation in first step then you apply the degree degree of the uh, vertices in a cartesian product and there will be and um, there will be after that uh, careful computation so there are three steps you need to follow but uh, your calculation must be very careful so this uh, is the first uh, this was the first graph operation which we discussed next now we move to another which is a strong border which is very similar to the Cartesian product that G1 and G2 be two graph the strong product of G1 and G2 is denoted by by this symbol it has vertex set. again the vertex set is v, uh, vertex set of G1 multiply the vertex of G2 similarly the vertex will be in ordered pair and two vertices are addition in strong product if they have first components are equal and second components are edge in the second graph or the first component are sorry uh, i think this is replaced the first component are are we can say is an edge in g1 and second component are equal so this is the right one in G2 this is our second condition and in third condition if both as U1 U2 is an edge in G1 and V1 V2 is edge in G2 then we will add an other edge so there are three condition first two condition are same as uh, as it is in the Cartesian product but there is an other condition the condition three that if the first components of both graph have the uh, have an edge and the second component of the both graph have graphs have an edge then we we can put a edge between these two words between these two words so there are three types of edges in strong border so this is the definition now we, we explain it via example similarly as we did in our previous uh, we have here p3 we have here p4 we will consider strong product of p3 cross 
before we want to see that either this word these two verses are adjacent or not in strong product so you can see if we try to apply first condition the first condition is that first component are same you can see the first component are not same so we cannot apply the first condition now we move to the second condition uh, you can see the you can see that uh, v1 v3 uh, are u2 u2 u3 so i think here is again mistake there will be 3 and this will be Four, yes three so you can see if we try to apply the condition to the second component are again not same so now we move, will move to the third condition third condition is that the first component first component mean v2 v3 must be an edge in uh, you can see g1 so here we have four three and uh, the u2 u3 belong to edge of g2 i mean this is our third condition you can see these two words is satisfy the third condition so there will be an edge similarly you can see v2 v3 has an edge and u3 u and edge so there will be an edge in between uh, these two words is similarly if we one by one check all the condition for all the words you, we will get uh, the graph like this so this is the strong product of graph p4 p3 so now discuss some properties of strong product so the order of the strong product of, to, uh, of two graph is given by the order of the graph g1 and order of the graph multiply order of the graph g2 and the size is given by this formula further the degree of a vertex uv in the in the strong product is given by degree of uh, u in g1 plus degree of v in g2 plus multiply by degree of g1 u multiply uh, plus degree of u in g1 multiply by degree of v in g2 this extra term because this is same as cartesian product and in strong product we have this extra term this extra term is uh, due to the third type of edge because in third type of edge you have to make an edge be, uh, an edge between two vertices in strong product whenever the first component have, have an edge and the second component have an edge so this is again can be obtained easily from the definition of the strong product of two graphs so this formula we, we will use uh, this formula in our calculation to investigate the topological indices of strong product of two graphs So the uh, in uh, uh, for this uh, graph operation we will discuss the first Zagreb index of the strong product of two graphs. So the strong product of uh, G and H or the first Zagreb index of G it's a strong product of G and H is given by this formula. You can see this uh, formula is very nice because this is uh, formula is using the basic basics for uh, of the graph G and basic of the graph h and uh, while you apply uh, the strong product on two graphs you can uh, uh, obtain a very complicated type of network of gra graphs but in final form you can see you involve only the graph g and then only the graph h so in our next slide we uh, uh, investigate this formula how this formula we drive let's see so this is the definition of the first active index summation of the degree square of the summation of the degrees of all words in a graph next because we can see that the first active index is defined on the vertex set so there are two types of edges in uh, the strong product one type when uh, vertex set belong to the g2 and other when vertex set belong to the uh, in graph g1 so we break the summation in this way and we apply here the degree formula 
you can see degree of u in g1 plus degree of v in g2 plus degree of u g1 multiplied degree of v in g2 and scale is due to the formula of the first degree index we apply this summation into the uh, into the bracket and we open of course first we open the formula this is our a here b here c so we apply or we open the square a square plus b square plus square uh, plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a and we apply the summation and we uh, get this stuff here and after that there is simple calculation you can see if we use this summation i mean if, if i change the color and try to explain if we use this summation and this uh, term you can see this is the first zagreb index uh, m1 of g similarly here if we see this summation will give you to the first zagreb index of g1 this will be the first zagreb index of uh, sorry v is from g2 v is from c2 the first zagreb index of this is g2 and this and this term will give you the first zagreb index of g1 and like this we can obtain some formulas here so we apply summation now move to the next slide after applying summation on this term you can obtain a very simplified formula of the first zagreb index of strong product of graphs next we have the uh, formula of the second zagreb index for the strong product of graph two graph g and h and the formula of the second zagreb index is given as this and the terminology to obtain this formula is same first we apply the definition this is the definition of the second zagreb index then we divide this summation because we have three types of edges in a strong product so we have three summations here one two and three so first type of edges will be treated here second type of edges will be treated here and the third types of edges will be treated here after that we applying the degree formula and uh, and some computation and finally we apply this summation on each term and we will get the final formula i recommend this exercise for you to get uh, some hands on uh, this topic so first exercise about the first zagreb index of the cartesian product second is about the forgotten index of strong product and the last one is derive the formula of the first and second multiplicative zagreb indices for the strong product graph if you have any question or query you can answer you can ask me in class or you can comment me and if anyone want to share their results uh, he or she can email me on my email address if i did not share my email address yet I, you can uh, note down my email address m dot k a m r a n dot sms at the rate of gmail so finally in next slide we have some references in uh, our first uh, in our previous lecture i mentioned uh, some graph operation further uh, uh, references or papers can be found through google so that's all from my uh, side this is the our fifth b lecture in next lecture inshallah i will discuss some degree uh, some distance based topological indices till, till then bye bye